You're listening to Catalyst Church World Harvest Ministry Podcast, transforming lives and influencing the marketplace, campus, community, and the next generation. Lord, salamat. May mong migiyahan ka ron. Pinagi sa mong pulong. You will empower us and most of all, transform us to become the person you want us to be. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. We started a series called Unleash. It is to set us free. Uh, this series is meant to empower us to become the person God wants us to be. Unleashing our potential, we mentioned last Sunday, God wants to set you free. You have to align to these principles. You have to fight familiarity. How many of you this week, gibalikan mo sa familiar lies, sa enemy sa inuanga? Ah, waragya po'y pulos. Ay mong pagsimba-simba. Mura magya po no? Hmm? Mura ragya po'y stricta, ragya po'y kinang magdagway. Same problems. Sa may pulos. Mura magya po'y pobre na magya. Familiar ways. Familiar lies. Familiarity. You have to fight it. Because the seed of greatness, once it is planted in your heart, the devil will try his best to take it away. Fight familiarity. And then you have to refuse to give up. That's very straightforward. Ayaw give up. You have to eliminate unhealthy habits. If you want to go someplace you haven't been, you have to do something you haven't done. Get out of your comfort zone. Try something different, guided by the Holy Spirit. Immerse yourself in a different atmosphere. If you have been in a certain atmosphere and you wala ka nagagrow, try the Spirit of God where His atmosphere thrives and dwells in holiness, in, a, in oneness with His Word. Kung naka niya ng klaseng atmosphere, you will really grow. Because it's a healthy atmosphere. An atmosphere that continues to challenge you to be godly. An atmosphere that continues to challenge you to be generous. To, 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 uh, to be healthy. Kaya nga mga klaseng atmosphere, nindot na. If you're in an atmosphere with friendships na, sige lang ikaon of French fries. <laughs> Di ba yun? Really? I mean, if you're in an atmosphere sa mga friends na, <laughs> Walay pagtagad sa kagalingon, well, you would know for yourself kung asa pa doon nga ng imuang kinabuy. If you are immersing yourself with friendships nga, conscious sa ginakaon, conscious sa ginaistorya, conscious sa um, linihukan, you will do well. That's why, in order for us to unleash the potential God wants us to eliminate all these unhealthy habits and obviously enlarging our capacities. Do not despise small beginnings do not despise where you are at right now. Ayaw gigna nga, ah, gamay raman ni, gamay raman, ang kong kinabuhi. It seems like insignificant, but great things starts from small beginning. Bible said, do not despise small beginnings. Even a seed of a mustard tree is very small, the tiniest of all seed, but it has the capacity to grow biggest. <laughs> so it's very important na masabta na na. We mentioned from the few verses we read last week in Genesis 1.28, God blessed them and said, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, govern it, reign over the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, all the animals that scurry along the ground. Plano sa gino mo multiply ta, may mo tang blessing. Plano sa gino mo na may mo tang fruitful. And then you will see Jesus in John chapter 8 verse 32, you will know the truth. You will know this truth and the truth will set you free. What truth? The truth that God wants to bless you. The truth that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. The truth that you are and you can get out of bondage. You can be unleashed from the chains of the past, chains of your failures. You can be free from the bondage of tradition over your life. The bondage of poverty, the bondage of unhealthy habits of procrastination, ungodliness, immorality, uh, uh, the, the, the chains and the bondage of illicit and wrong relationships, those things, you can get out of them. You will know the truth and you will realize that old habits, old vices are not really that good. When I broke free from smoking and even drinking and all these other things 
you know, it came to me as something like when during sa panahon nga na sa bisyo, I would think unsa na lang may akong linaw kung wala na ko ani wala na ko ana nikutin na lang gahawid na ko baga ano muntang ko <coughs> ang pinusupo nga mingon nga dako na kay ko gasto ani kung bisyo karon pa na ko ning dangan and those things come to mind when there was that challenge to change my ways because i could not find any other way forward except staying sa ako ang bisyo and then i realized it's so much better na wala ang mga bisyo sa kinabuhi. I realized the truth and the truth set me free. Because Jesus said in John chapter 14 verse 6, I am the way, I am the truth, I am life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Today, I want to continue with this series, Unleash, by addressing a very important issue sa kinabuhi, so sa katao. And that we experience a lot of chaos. But God is not a God of chaos. He's a God of order. He's a God of peace. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God is a God of order. God is a God of peace. He made everything perfect. As he is perfect. How many of you believe that God is the author and the finisher of faith and that God is a giver of good gifts? Amen. Nothing is bad, nothing is wrong, nothing negative, nothing is falling short sa gino. His creator is supreme. Tanan maayong butang gikan siya, siya mismo maayo. God is good, God is love, God is sovereign, God is all knowing, God is omniscient, all knowing, God is omnipresent. Everywhere, nothing lacking. Sa ginoo, nahiyang tanan. He is the epitome of greatness and success and everything. Na as a ginoo, and he created the heavens and the earth. God created something beautiful. Amen. But just after that, in verse two, makita na to, the earth was formless and empty, and darkness covered the deep waters. I don't want to go through theological uh, circles in all these things, but theologians, those who have studied the Bible and, and it's plain common sense, God did not create emptiness and darkness. God didn't create that. Something happened between verse 1 and verse 2. There was a kodita in heaven. Some angels rebelled against God and they were thrown and they fell in earth and thwarted God's plan and God's design. But God then went forward to restore it. The Spirit of God hovered over the surface of the heaven, of the waters. God is a God of order. Something happened. When rebellion started, it thwarted seemingly. It kind of goes against the plan of God. Paghimo niya sa heavens and the earth. Perfect. Nindot. Boom! na disrupt. There was the introduction of chaos brought by the devil. But then, in Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 to 2, So the heavens and the earth, <coughs> the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation. So he rested from all his work. In other words, when there was chaos, God immediately intervened, hovered in the situation. And then, as He has been speaking since Genesis chapter 1, verse 3, then God said, let there be light, and there was light. Let there be vegetation, there was vegetation. Let there be an expanse between the heavens and the earth, and there was the sky, and there was the sea, and let there be animals, and there were animals, let there be fish, and there were fish. Every time Jesus or God spoke a word, there came about peace, there came about order, there came about creation, there came about wonderful, beautiful things. God is the source and the author of order is the author of something beautiful. Satan brought chaos into God's creation. It's chaos. You see around us, yawa padayon nagadala o chaos. In creation, typhoons, hurricanes, 
tidal waves, freaks of nature na we see around us death and decay. You see, the moment sin entered, there was this, Adam and Eve was there, everything was restored according to God's design, according to God's plan. But God placed them in the perfect spot in Eden. As I've been mentioning, it's not necessarily just a physical spot. It's where the presence of God is. Bring peace all over the earth. Bring order all over the earth. Amongst creation, amongst animals, kung mag-away ang baktin o ang iring, madlunga sila, di mo mag-away. Ingunana ang plano sa gino. Kung naay, they are to speak life. Kita na ito sa mga salita. No? Mga gamhanan kayo sila mga murag. Kaysa na nga mga tanong, mutubo, nagkalipo, yung nahikapon. Not necessarily in a mystical way like that, but God has given us authority over creation. But somehow, ang yawa, gamit niya ang creation, may magdumala sa tuwa. You've heard that a couple of times, but it is so true. There was devastation when the devil tempted Adam and Eve o nisanong food sila sa tentasyon. That started chaos. There was the devastation of mankind. The moment they ate of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they died. They died spiritually. That is, ang ilang connections sa ginoo died. And so mankind started to make decisions in their own strength, in their own mind, will, and emotion. Their souls now started to be the God, to be ahead. Instead of the Spirit of God leading them, ang ilang, ang atuan na tayong mind, ang atuang perception of reality, mo na nga easily tempted, swayed by the things around us, nagsunod-sunod ka sa serpent, nagsunod-sunod ka sa dictates of the flesh, where consequences are so real. God had and continues to bring back beauty in His creation. That's why today, we're going to talk about conquering chaos. God wants to conquer the chaos in your life. Amen. Chaos means a complete disorder. It means confusion. A lot of us are confused. A lot of people are confused. Whereas financially, we should be ahead. We are not doing good at all. Physically, the conditions of our bodies naturally would decay. But because of a lot of factors, you know, we have this, contract this kind of disease and that. And so that's a problem. Most of all, the devil targets the emotions. <coughs> There's been a lot of chaos sa emotional part sa so sa person. Karon nag nakita, na-diagnose ang klase-klase ng mga mental disorders. Emotional disorders. With the advent of medicine and science, ginatreat atong mga disorders, pinaginiling ang mga tabletas, pinaginiling ang mga kapsul. But this and all only causes our system to be immobilized but wala yun na-address ang real issue and the source of chaos which is the devil himself trying to destroy and kill our lives. Muna nga yung mga oppression, na yung mga depression, anxieties, na yung mga fears, na yung mga kabalaka, unfounded na mga um, mga projection sa kinabuhi, maguna. And so these are very chaotic things. Satan brought chaos but God brings us peace. That is the title he wore for himself. In Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 to 7, For a child is born to us, a son is given to us. The government will rest on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His government and its peace will never end. He will rule with fairness and justice from the throne of his ancestor David for all eternity. The passionate commitment of the Lord of the Heavens armies will make this happen. Conquering chaos means embracing the peace God is offering us through His Son, Jesus Christ. Ang paglaong na to para makonquer na to ang chaos sa itong kinabuhi, the peace that God is offering you. 
You see, it's not there, but in Acts chapter 10, verse 36, this is the message of the good news for the people of Israel, for the people of God. That there is peace with God through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. In Romans chapter 16, verse 20, the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. You can conquer chaos. Amen. Come on, you can conquer chaos. You can conquer chaos. Come on, you can do it. God is about to unleash peace in your life. Amen. God is about to unleash something wonderful that for once, that for once, that for once, you post for you to feel something better. Bisapag puros angry face tunan. Magkatawa lang mong ka. Wow. They hate my post. Hallelujah. Because you don't care about the approval of men. For once, you're gonna have a decent meal, a decent wage. Because God will bring orders and will finance. Why not? God is a God of peace. A God of order. When you embrace these principles... When you realize God wants to set us free, we can have it. A very familiar text, we're going to get our verses, of our, our points from. You know, when we conquer chaos, is no other than in Mark chapter 4, verse 35. As Jesus came, Jesus said to his disciples, Let's cross to the other side of the lake. I want us to get there. One at destination. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out and leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. So there was that declaration. There was that godly intention. There was God's design that we cross over. You know what that means, crossing over? From ordinary to extraordinary. From a nobody to somebody. From having nothing to having at least something. God will bring us to the other side. You've got to believe that. If you can't believe that, then your mind has really been hardened by the devil. Your heart has really been hardened by the enemy of your very soul for you not to be able to believe that there is future, there is brightness, that, that your future is so bright ahead of you. I pray as a church this morning, God's peace will come before us, come in our midst. I'm praying for the peace of God. Not just in my life, but for all of us. We are Catholic Church. We are family. Let the peace of God dwell. And so Jesus said, I'll bring you over to the other side. But soon as, but soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. That's almost automatic. Almost automatic. That's why it makes us doubt the promises of God. Kaya nga naman, gisaaral ta niya. Pero nga naman naging yunay. Nga naman yunana. It's always happened. How stubborn of us not to see the pattern. It's always happened in you. In the Old Testament, makita naman katawahan sa gino. Ang, ang declaration sa gino sila, panalangin. The, you're the head and not the tail. But then, eventually, they're there beneath. But God will pick them up the moment they repent. So, na ang pattern. Every time magsuod sila sa gino, grabe ang panalangin. Every time palayo sila sa gino, naay po mga consequences. Makita na itong pattern. But yet, the devil uses the same trick time and again because he knows a lot of our hearts are easily swayed by the glitters of this world. And he knows just the nature of the fallen man. That's why dili yun ta makaabanti-abanti kung magsaligta sa tuang flesh, magsaligta sa tuang own understanding. Ingo ng Proverbs, do not lean on your own understanding. But the moment mahimutang led by the Spirit of God, we can experience this peace. So, automatic, naging mga problema ang magpangabot. And Jesus was there in the midst of chaos. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up shouting, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to drown? Jesus. Oh, nalisang na mo. Jesus woke up and he rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence! Be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was great calm. Then he asked, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? 
The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. God bless his word. Now, we're going to look at conquering chaos. The first thing we need to understand, as I have been sharing, and I will not be, I'll be giving an opportunity for us to embrace God's peace this morning. But let me tell you something. God wants to bring you to the other side. He's, ex he's set up directly sa iyo mga tao. Ingat siya na, let's cross to the other side of the lake. If you want to conquer chaos in your life, first and foremost, you need to proclaim God's promises. Keep proclaiming God's promises. Instead of confessing negativity, instead of being negative, instead of doubting, of course, you will see a lot of reasons to fear. You will see around you, you know, a lot of opportunities to get bitter, to get discouraged, but proclaim God's promises. Once God said it, He will do it. His word is His bond. God and His word is just the same. When God says something, it's not like a man that he should lie. God is faithful. He is true. Jesus already promised you would get to the other side. What are you believing? So, I want you to declare, God, your promise is over my life. I have so many promises from the Lord. And I have seen waves, the waves, I have seen a lot and gone through a lot of storms. But before that, before we get there, I just want to, you know, I just want to challenge us like I have been challenging myself on a daily basis. I proclaim His promises. Bisan ba wala pa nagpanghitabo? Bisan ba og murag? Opposite ang nahitabo. I keep proclaiming God's promises. The most important thing is uban ni mo siya sa barko. Basta naaas siya. Tugtan ba niya nga maunod ang barko? Diba? Sa ganyan ba ni Bishop, lain po kayo headline, headline sa langit. Ang manuluwas na lumus. Di mo ang ginoong mahitabong, ang ginoong malumos. Di man mahitabong, ang ginoong mapildi. Amen. Dili mahitabong, ang iyang saad mabali or iyang bakwiton. When God said it, He will do it. The book of Isaiah, his words will never return to him void. It will accomplish the purpose he has sent it. So if God said he will save you, he will save you. It's just a matter of time. As my pa si Douglas MacArthur, mutuo pa tanya, I shall return. And he kept his word. Nibalik yun siya. How much more ang ginoo? Proclaim God's promises. How do we do that? God's promises. How do we do that? Every day. Just say, just keep saying, Lord, thank you. I am uh, I am blessed. Lord, thank you. I have enough resources. Lord, mapaiskwila na ako kung maanap. Lord, salamat sa breakthrough sa kong finances. Lord, salamat. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Ingo nila, ay lang nagbisaya. Kay hadlo kang hinimo. O fearfully ano. O yun sa na. But the point is, Kung asa ni mong mga fears, you need to address and look and search for God's word and His promises over your life. If you're going through sickness, you just continue to proclaim God's promises of healing over your life. Amen. Zen shared a while ago about um, her experience. And there could be those, those fears, there could be those anxiety, what if, what if, but we proclaim God's promises. Amen. And we're going to believe with her this, this morning as well. We're going to do that in a little while. We're going to pray, and not just for sin, but for every one of us who are in the middle of a storm or going through something. Nga makaabot ba gusto mo? We also would like to acknowledge those nga ning graduate. No? Ang ato ang mga ning graduate karon ato daw sa ipatas ko na yung mga kamot kisa to silang Val. Come on! Kisa pa. Napabayla eh. Si Val lang. Come on! Napapakan si Val. 
Si ka? Si Catherine. Wow, nakahuman ka din taon mo. <laughs> Salamat sa ginoo. But then for those others, no, you're thinking, siguro wala ka ka tiwas pa or siguro next time na ka, you will get to the other side. Yes. E, bisa pag-ingon pa, pinilasupura nga, ah, di ba ng budagan ng eskwilahan? Pero labi, katinuuran na, there's a truth to that. But the point is, you keep proclaiming God's promises, you will get to the other side. Wala na nagbase sa imuhang academic excellence, wala na nagbase sa imuhang IQ, wala na nagbase sa imuhang, you know, uh, giftings and skills. God will bring you to the other side. Success is not dependent on who you are, it's always dependent on God's faithfulness. Yes. Proclaim God's promises. Secondly, in order for us to conquer chaos, there needs to be explicit obedience. What do we mean by explicit obedience? When God said, okay, let's cross to the other side of the lake, ang response sa mga disciples, so they took Jesus in the boat and started out. They started out. In other words, kung naisulti ang ginawis mo, explicit means plain, clear, and straightforward obedience. No room for doubt. Pinagdarig sa aran sa ginoo. I will bless you. I will uh, promote you. And thinking of promotion, naghuna-huna na mo, kaya baka na ko? No? What if madato ko? What if mausap akong huna-huna? What if magarbuso ko? Wabagay ka na dato, lahat na ako magarbuso ka. <laughs> what if di na dahil ko kabalumutan ako ninyo? No? I'd rather keep our friendship. <laughs> Come on. Adlo mga, tikang. If you want to be blessed, you have to do something you've not done before. Obviously, keep your feet on the ground. Obviously, remain humble. Continue to honor the Lord. But do not fear. You have to obey. What if the disciples, no, maybe it's a wrong time to, sh- to, to sail. They are, some of them are fishermen. And as a matter of fact, daghan pa sila giatiman, pero ang ingon ni Jesus sila, go, let's go cross to the other side. Walay daghang storya, gibiyaan at ladrit sa ang tanan. They took Jesus in the boat and started out. Probably, ako ba sa ilahan, naka-discern na. Pagtanaw nila, check nila sa ilahang weather forecast sa uh, ilang iPhone. Pagtanaw nila, brother, di ba mayong biyahiron kayo na yung, no? Uh, 90% chance of... <laughs> na yung mga yung na, na, and they could have forecasted that. A lot of us, pwede silang mag-over-analyze. Over-analysis leads to paralysis. You know that? Wala yung may tabo sa mong kinabuhi. Kung masiga, kung nahuna, no, kaya baka na ko. Hindi mo you can do it. Just obey. What's my next steps, Timo? Just obey. I shared sa Catalyst Pro, we are in our series also. It's about, we talked about relationships, he said, she said. And starting last Friday, we started talking about principles of success. And ang um, ginaistoryahan na to, ang uh, kaimportante sa, importansya sa pagpursu, sa, you know, sa ito ang mahimot na successful. Okay, nalimot na sa kong sumpay. Um, explicit obedience. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> Mutikang na dadita mahadlok, maghimutag mga lakang, steps forward. Ayaw kahadlok. Ayaw sa analyze na what if mo fail ko. Yeah, I talk about some of you about having start you know, starting to have a business. Una na kag negosyo. It's not that easy. It's gonna take so much more than being an employee. But nonetheless, starting out, when God's spoken to you, just do it. It's not gonna be an easy route. But when you do it, because God is with you, you banan ka sa kino, and you explicitly obey, there's so much more ahead of you. Amen. Amen. Do things not because other people are doing it. Do it because God told you to do it. Yes. Step out in faith. Ignan mo tapad, you deserve more. And say, Can I mong kagwapa? Can I mong kagwapa? You deserve more. And more is not here 
is on the other side we have to explicitly obey we have to be more connected to god we have to be more uh, more more we have to capture the heart of god more of god and less of us let's go to the other side god said so they took jesus in the boat so why paglangan langan they did not over analyze they just do it. Great men and women, they don't overanalyze. They just have that courage. When David saw Goliath taunting the people of God, walay pagduha-duha. Siya nga makaako mo. Igabalikas mo anang pisuta na. Gihagit mo. O niya, wa ra mo gibuhat. O saan mo na ganti sa makapataya na ba? Ako ang nabi. Isang paglibre. Sa iyan ang kalago. Because he understood God's promises over them. Amen. They are the people of God. They are to be the head and not the tail. Yes. But currently, they are being challenged by a Goliath. David, without analyzing Bata pa siya, without considering the muscle, without considering sa tanan, wala siya dagang siya. I cannot miss. God is with me. Amen. You may think, isi, isi yun na isuryahan, pastor, pero ang pagbuhat, may challenging. Whoever told you it's going to be easy? It's not gonna be easy. But if you do it because it's right, you will overcome whatever difficulty. Buhatan lang kay insakto man. Mahalag magkamamo. Magkasimod ang balas. <laughs> Kita kagbalas, nagkasimod. Kasi nga na ito nakita, ang atong simod nagkabalas. Pero kanang ang balas, nagkasimod. Mas grabe ko na. Naghan ako kita, ana, sa urulingon, nagkasimod ang balas. But nonetheless, barok lang ihapon. <laughs> Because God already said He will bring you to the other side. So I keep proclaiming God's promises and I keep obeying Him. Thirdly, no, makita na to, um, as soon, soon, pag tungtong nila, pag obey, the moment, I tell you, the moment mo obey na galing ka, the moment you start to to cut the ungodly ties, ungodly influence sa imong kinabuhi, the moment ikat ni mo, yung gag- Tip na yung kumuusap. Ang tao na na, Brad, tagay Brad. Hindi ko hindi ko kinumusap. Hindi ka na akong special na bino para natukurong. Hindi hindi na ka. Sumpay, kausa na lang. Tagay na po. Every time, the moment, the every time, na kay buhaton para sa kinu. Boom! Without fail, the devil will try to knock you down. Sorry, that's just for effect. It's okay, baby. I love you. The devil will... <laughs> the devil will try to knock you down. Naaman ko kay buhaton nga maayo. Ganahan ba kayong tiyawa o maayo? Ganahan siya nga matumba ka. So every time you try to pick it up and pick up your life and fight for what is sensible, fight for what is righteous, fight for what is godly, He will knock you out as soon as they step out, step into the boat. A fierce storm came, high waves were breaking in the boat and it began to fill with water. Mau pagali pagsugod, bankrupt na yun. Plus, yun ko siya Mau pagali English nagsulti pa rin ka nga um, kanang uh, ma kanang, by the way kanang uh, bantay mas yung kamano nga ang ginabuhi ako nang ginausap ma sorry kay maha nga uh, na himo kong disobedient sa mo ingnon na yung kasi yung mama nga no saka ni ba rin yung religion <laughs> nabuo na kayo naka nabuo ang naka ritar ang tumlos ng pamilya basta mo himo kay kagtikang sa imong kinabuhi <laughs> when I started to make the right decision, when I started to make the right decision, din ako may no, wala na. Ubo ang nasibantol. 
di na kung kumainom, di na kung sigurilyo, sa iyo na kung uli. Sa una nga, kasipit-sipit ko, tanduway, sigurilyo, ganun na siguro, huwag yun yung nabuang ko. Sa so, yung Bible na akong isipitan na nabuang ako, no? Because, in order for you to conquer chaos, next, you need to address challenges accordingly. Because you, there will be challenges. And let me tell you something, chaos did not come from God. Ang uban, may nga nagaling, I will conquer chaos in my life. And so magtarong sa ginabuy, mutuman sa ginoo, muproclaim sa mga saan sa ginoo. And then, gibatikos, gipersecute, may nga dahil, ang ginoo manggod. Kung maninood na noon ko sa ginoo, gitininood na noon ko sa yawa. Ang ginoo, gilani, no, wrong address. God is not the author of chaos. Wrong accusation. Mapriso ka na. Taka lang ang story nga. Ang ginoo, ang ginoo may gahatag ani nga kapubrihuan kay. Ano yung ani may ganang-ganang sa ginoo. Gikan yun sa ginoo ang tanan. Kanin, apin niya pong bati yung naong. Gikan yun sa ginoo. Grabe pagdamay. Basta yung mong naong yung magpasangin lang ang ginoo. Wag yung sala ang ginoo na. Ayun lala ka. Ito ay wrong address. God is the author the finisher of our faith, He is the source of every good and perfect gift. When you have a challenge, address it accordingly. Jesus addressed it. As soon as they entered the boat, a fierce storm came. It came. And these challenges, kanina mga challenges, Ang iyahang objective is to drown you, is to kill you, is to make you quit. But send that item back. Ing na dayon. Basta na problema, isodo gin belog, return to sender. Ipadahan balik. Wrong address. Ayog the water? Ha? Huh? Ayaw daw ata. Ingno naman, na, ang baro na, minyo na. Ano silang nais, nice, madin si Tin. Ano na, minyo na lang. Basta lang sa nais. Ay, ikaw, sa karun, wadya po yung jowa. Suod na sa yung bilog, wrong address. Di ko, di na para na ko. Amen. Mo sila, mo, nindot kayo, mga trabaho, nindot may income, ikaw, wala, mantener kaya po ka. Ayaw daw ata. Don't. Let that enter your heart. Wrong address. Yes. To challenge your circumstances. To challenge yourself. And instead, keep proclaiming God's promises. Keep doing what God wants you to do. Pauli na. Because next to that, kung imong dawaton ka mga challenges nga muragikan sa ginoo, you will develop arguments. Sama sa mga disciples. Ang ilang pagduol ka Jesus is a teacher. Don't you care that we are going to drown? Asa mo nagigan nga huna-huna? Nga si Jesus pamanggali ka ingon nga let's go to the other side. Kanya ilan nung i-accuse Jesus nga. Ano magkagway kibuha? Ha? Palami-lami, ano magkagaya? Habog pa. Tulog-tulog, ano magkagaya? Don't you care? You think? God doesn't care? In order for you to conquer chaos, you need to, number four, you need to cancel all arguments. Very simple. But there are, uh, we have adopted a lot of arguments against God, against His Word, against His Church, against His leaders, against His people, against all kinds of wonderful things. Just because na kay problema, wala nagpasabot ng gino against sa imuha. Wala na nagpasabot, gibiyaan ka sa gino. Just because you're having a difficulty, it doesn't mean because nagpa, nagmatmon ka. No, it is our lot in life. It is a disciple's path. It is what we call occupational hazard nga i-persecute kita. It's our occupational hazard. We will go through tough times because there Calm seas does not produce expert sailors. It's during these rough waters na makaproduce yung mga champions. Time of peace does not create mighty armies. It's during times of war, manggawa sa mga banggiitan, na mga sundalo. 
Amen. God means for you to become a conqueror. Alam alam naman tawag kong kag-conqueror niya, wakay gi-conquer. Sama sa itong istorya, muli ka sa balay, ma, 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 nakadaog ko ma, first place sa, sa lumba, sa dagan. Pila mo kabog ni dagan, anak, ako rang usama. What's the glory in that? You have to have opponents and defeat them. You have to be able to answer and you have to be able to answer back sa mga challenges. Kinanglan kang maning kamot. Every athlete knows that. They have to beat their opponent. They have to beat their enemy in order to win. And so when you fail, when you go through tough times, you have to address that challenge and ayaw pa sa ninli ang ginoo. Pubagsak na galing tamo, yung naman nun nyo. Anak, sobrang gug ka ka, ministry, ministry, nabagsak na nun ka. Nabagsak ka, hindi ko sa ministry, po, gagatuon. Amen. <laughs> Kung wala na kita na panalanginan, pasanginla na dahil na ito ang ginoong. Lord, sabi ko man, naging mo kong panalanginan, di ba maging mo kong bakapan. Ano man lagi, why did you allow? And there are grave, mas grave circumstances kaysa sa mong ginagusto. There have been people who have been faithfully serving the Lord but they were persecuted even to the death. A lot of men and women of God have gone through so much difficulties but they refused to give up on what is right and that is God. But nonetheless, mas daghan ang nangalagad sa kino and they live to see the glory of God manifested in their lives. Katong tanan mga nag-una sa tuwa, nga grabe ang mga sakripisyo, they were persecuted of their faith, mo sila yung mga pagpugas sa kino. Karun mo anita. Karun nga mga kapanahunan, magtilinood ta sa kino, magservisyo, mga lagad ta sa kino, mo align ta sa kino, and you will see the glory of God manifested in your life. It's, I didn't say it's going to be easy, There's going to be challenges, but you have to cancel arguments. This time, di na to pasangin lang ang ginoo. Sa tanan ng mga butang na nagpanghitabo, challenges na hitabo sa itong ginoo. But rather we say, Lord, I will not accept these failures. This is just temporary. Ako yung uli ni sa saktong address. Why? God already promised for you to, the, to go to the other side. Receive it. Amen. In verse 40, and lastly, ingon diha, pag barug ni Jesus, pag ingon sa mga disciples, don't you care, we are going to drown? Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind, and he said to the wind, silence, be still. Suddenly, the wind stopped, and there was a great calm. And then Jesus said, do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and the waves obey him. In order to conquer chaos, lastly, you need to elevate your faith. Elevate your faith. Peace comes from God. God is a God of peace. This is the message of the good news for the people of Israel that there is peace. Peace with God through Jesus Christ who is Lord of all. And I'm going to read again Romans chapter 16 verse 20. The God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. This morning I want to minister. God wants to minister that message to us. He's changing the atmosphere as we sang a while ago. Miracles can start to happen. I want to make this challenge for us. I want to challenge us to come before God. And particularly, as I said, Nasi Zen, we're going to stand together with Zen. And for everyone in this room, you may be going through chaos. Maybe it's in a form of emotional disturbance. Some of you are feeling chaotic say, among finances. I bet we all went through that. But this morning, God wants to conquer chaos in your life. Come on, let's all stand. And uh, I want you to join. Let's join together our faith that we're gonna annihilate whatever the devil 
has invented for us. Let's pause for a while, bow our heads. I want to pray that God will bring to remembrance mong kasing-kasing, unsang of fear, chaos, mong ginadumang karoon. And if you feel like, and if God is prompting you to come forward this way, I want you to come. Because I want to pray for you. There's a disturbance sa mong kasing-kasing. Maybe it's a, the fear of the unknown. Maybe you want to give up on something. Uh, you know, nagsulting yun di mo nga buhato ni mo. Maybe some may even think of ending, you know, their who knows sa ilang kinabuhi. Let me stop. Let me tell you something. The objective of chaos is to destroy you. Even kanang mga doubts, even ang mga kahatlok, once mo develop na, it will take you away from the Lord. Never give up on what is right. Never give up. God already said, you go to the other side. So, if that is you, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, you search the hearts of your people today. That you will change the atmosphere sa ilang mga kinabuhi. From darkness to light. From heaviness, God, to the experience of peace and that every day sa ilang kinabuhi. I just declare, God, for your presence to be with us today. Even as we believe, Lord. We believe together as a church for breakthrough. We believe, Lord, and we will act accordingly. We will act, obey sa imong ginapabuhat sa mong kinabuhat. We will cancel all arguments. Lord, we just want to move and go to the next level. So, in the name of Jesus, for every person who's going through chaos, I want you to step out, identify yourself, and say, Here I am, Lord. Conquer the chaos inside of me through Jesus. I want you to come forward. I want to pray for you right now. Come on. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
single them out and I believe not just them this morning as it appears. Because I want to address over you, over your life, that God is a God of peace and what He intends is always good. For whatever has happened in the past, whatever failures, whatever um, seemingly uh, short circuit or a fail in pregnancy, we declare this morning that God's blessing is resting over your life and is protecting this baby. We believe, O oh God, Lord, for your miraculous hand over this situation, that your spirit is hovering over their lives, God, to preserve what is from you. And so we declare as a community, O oh God, for this blessing to be unleashed, this life be released in the name of Jesus. We cancel, O oh God, every work of the devil over their lives and we live together for the peace in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, over you right now, over your life, I declare some of you going through financial chaos. Financial chaos in your life. Come on, believe God. He will bring you to the other side. Obey whatever God has placed in your heart. Do not fear. Keep trying. Some of you have failed, but keep trying. Keep obeying what God has placed in your heart. Never accept your failure. Don't ever receive it. Send it back to the center. Igna, return to center. I am not a failure. I am a success. Come on. If you have ever blamed God for whatever, cancel that argument. That argument will lead you down so, so much. God will, that argument will lead you and drag you. Madili mahita po ang purpose sa ginoon sa kinabuhin. God cannot be mocked. Whatever you sow, that you shall reap. So God cannot be mocked and God is not the source of this. Whatever negative things na mahita po sa kinabuhin. Today, I want to declare life over your life. Over you. In Jesus' name. Come on, as we worship Him. Let's pray over you. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Breakthrough in Jesus' name. I pray for breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Come on, receive those promises. Receive the financial breakthrough. Receive your, your son, your daughter. Come on, for those of you praying for pregnancy, praying for a child, release this morning God's seed over your life. Breakthrough in Jesus' name. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I pray for breakthrough. I pray for God's blessing. Lord, abundance. Lord, breakthrough.
sins. I don't say that just to say that. I say that because there's a seed that's planted, that's been planted. And so let's connect all the dots. Connect all the dots. All these messages, you know, are uh, spirit inspired. I know they're for a reason. You will declare for yourself a month from now, two months from now, you will really see this right before your very eyes. But you have to keep obeying God. You have to keep addressing those challenges, those unfounded fears. You have to cancel all the arguments. You see, whoever said it's gonna be easy, but it's always right. The good thing about this, it's not easy, but God is with you. He is in the boat with you. Make sure He is, you are in the boat with Jesus. So if you're here this morning, you don't, you have not connected with God in a personal way. We have cell leaders, a person who invited you. We declare that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Wala religion nga nagpalansang sa So we're not about religion. We will not convert you to this religion. City Gates is not a religion. Catalyst Brother is not a religion. You see, it's about Jesus who brings transformation sa itong pinagoy. Amen. Some of you are asking for financial breakthrough. There are a lot of principles involved. Dili siya dali. Pero kung imuhang salig sa ginoong tanan, upanan ka sa ginoong. I see a lot of businesses birth. We're gonna be is a community you know, that helps one another. I see a lot of potentials as a lot of you going through chaos pag eskwila to liro because of emotional entanglements. Come on, get your peace from God. Kung unsa man ang mga naka-apikto sa eskwila, mo ba ito? Okay, wala'y kwarta, mo ba ito? Okay, ay daghan ng mga distractions Settle them once and for all. Address those challenges. Obey ang word sa gino. Word sa mga leader sa gino, which is in line sa pulong sa gino. Ang uban kinanglan ng pagtoo. Increase siya ni mo pagtoo. I really, I really believe with all of my heart. Kung ons base ang ons na ka impossibly, hatag na sa gino sa mo. Sa mo. We keep believing. Some of you praying for baby. Hatag na sa gino. Anong ihikaw man sa gino? Wag yan ang ihikaw. Yang buktong anak ka na, babang anak. Para sa mo. Whatever argument in the past, whatever argument sa lineage or whatever, cancel that in the name of Jesus. Amen? Come on, papaka ng gino. Father, thank you, Lord. We'll lift our hands to heaven, everyone. Father, salamat sa imong pagkigugma na mo. As a community, we keep believing for greater things ahead. Lord, thank you that we are conquering conquering chaos by the peace that comes from God comes from Jesus thank you as we are connected to Jesus there is breakthrough in everything that we do and this we declare in Jesus name everybody says thank you for listening to Catalyst Church podcast for more updates like us on Facebook at Catalyst Church Cebu or visit our website at catalystchurch.ph